In this tutorial, we will look at the architecture and history of JDBC and why it would help to learn about using the Spring JDBC template. For my YouTube students, this slideshow is part of a YouTube playlist. The playlist URL will be listed in the description and comments of this lesson. All source code for this playlist will be available for free in a GitHub repository. A look at how JDBC works. JDBC was developed as an alternative to the c base ODBC or Open Database Connectivity API. JDBC offers a programming level interface that handles the mechanics of Java applications communicating with a database. The JDBC interface consists of two layers. First, the JDBC API supports communicating between the Java application and the JDBC driver manager. Second, the JDBC driver supports communication between the JDBC manager and the database. JDBC is the common API that your application code interacts with. Beneath that is the JDBC compliant driver for the database you are using. A look at the history of JDBC. First, Sun Microsystems released JDBC as part of Java on February 19, 1997. Since then, it has been part of the Java platform. Here we see that the JDBC packages are contained in java.sql and javax.sql. We see that Java has been part of the Java community process, starting with version 3.1 and all the details about the latest version. Down here, we see which version match with which release of Java. So why do you want to learn Spring JDBC? First, it's used widespread in large companies. Second, it has been actively maintained for 20 years and counting. And Spring JDBC gives you a fast and quick win when dealing with legacy code. 